Welcome to a service of the Word for Maundy Thursday and the Watch in the Garden. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you and also with you. During this service the choir pieces were recorded during the service of 2018 and the images come from the service of 2019. Let us pray. God our Father, you have invited us to share in the supper which your Son gave to his church to proclaim his death until he comes. May he nourish us by his presence and unite us in his love, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper... Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe and tied a towel around himself. And he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know what I am doing but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean, and you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him, and for this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet and put on his robe and had returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example, that you should do as I have done to you. Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me. And as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Disciple of the Lord, praise to you, O Christ. At this point in the service, the priest washes the feet of members of the congregation, following the example of Jesus as a sign of service. The choir sings Ubi Caritas by De Rufle.
Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you have taught us that what we do for the least of our brothers and sisters, we do also for you. Give us the will to be the servant of others, as you were the servant of all, and gave up your life and died for us, but are alive and reign now and for ever. Amen. In the power of the Spirit, let us pray to the Father, through Christ, the Saviour of the world. Father, on the night he was betrayed, your Son, Jesus Christ, washed his disciples' feet. We commit ourselves to follow his example of love and service. Lord, hear us and humble us. On this night, he prayed for his disciples to be one. We pray for the unity of your church. Lord, hear us and unite us. On this night, he prayed for those who were to believe through his disciples' message. We pray for the mission of your church. Lord, hear us and renew our zeal. On this night, he commanded his disciples to love, but suffered rejection himself. We pray for the rejected and unloved. Lord, hear us and fill us with your love. On this night, he reminded his disciples that if the world hated them, it hated him first. We pray for those who are persecuted for their faith. Lord, hear us and give us your peace. On this night, he accepted the cup of death and looked forward to the new wine of the kingdom. We remember those who have died in the peace of Christ. Lord, hear us and welcome all your children into paradise.
Please spend some time of your own just watching with Christ. You can do this by going out into your own garden or sitting by a window with a lighted candle. When you have finished watching, please join me for Compline, which is a separate service available on video.